Let's take a little moment here to observe the Racer Star motors. Hmm, these are some good motors. 2205, 2600 kV of pure joy. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you today about this X210 quadcopter kit. I built this about 11 months ago and it has been my number one go-to racing quad in our local races. It has a lot of the original components and a lot of new components. Uh, some of the uh, components that are original are all the carbon fiber. This uh, carbon fiber is a four millimeter main plate. I'm starting to get a little bit of scuffs out on the edges where the carbon fiber is kind of starting to wear, kind of starting to come apart a little bit. But it is 11 months old. So what do you expect? 11 months and dozens of crashes, hundreds of crashes. Uh, one thing, uh, another thing I've had to replace is the power distribution board. Here we go, a little better shot. Power distribution board and the flight controller. Those have been replaced a couple of times. And I've also replaced one ESC, and I think it was this one over here. One ESC and one motor. I was flying through some trees. The prop hit a tree. It bent down, struck the ESC, sent this thing into flames, which in turn burned up the motor. It was like a flying fireball through the air. It was insane. Now a lot of people will give these Racer Stars a crappy, a crappy review. They're 2205, and these are the 2600 kV motors. You can also get them available in 2300, but I've always told people get the 2600 because they're cheap and because they have great performance for the price that you pay for them. Now, there's, like I said, there's been some contention about these racer stars and their quality. They say, oh, oh, for $3 more you can get some $10 motors and they're so much better. True, but if you're paying $7 a piece for these, you're getting a whole set for about $28, $29. If you pay a set of four for $10, you're paying $40. So now you're really trying to compare $30 motors against $40 motors. It's not even a fair comparison. They say, oh, the T motors, they're the best. Yes, yes, they're the best. They're also $20 a piece, and so by the time you buy four, you're at $80. $80 in just motors. These motors are $7.69 a piece last time I looked. So you get a whole set for under 30 bucks. Well, a little bit more than 30. About 30 bucks. $30 versus $80. Nothing that costs twice as good and that's half the price is gonna beat something that costs twice as much. It's just not gonna happen. But to say these racer stars are no good is, is doing nobody any good. And the mini quad, Test Bench recently said, oh, with the, with the price of these motors, they're going to be a hard sell because there's so many other ones that are better. Who is, who's Race to Star competing against? They're not competing against T-Motor, that's for sure. T-Motors are well beyond the realm of these Racer Stars. These Racer Stars are competing for the people who are entering into drone racing. And they're, they're competing for the people who can't push the throttle all the way. If you're not pushing your throttle all the way, these Racer Stars would work great for you. Until the quadcopter becomes the limitation on how fast you can fly, I don't think these motors are, you know, to the point where they're, they're irrelevant. Now, if you do fly your quadcopter very fast at near full throttle, and you're coming in top five in races, the, these are not for you. These are not for you. You are beyond these motors. But for most of the people entering the hobby, there's no reason they should spend more money on more expensive motors than these racer stars. Some people say, oh, oh they're cheese motors. They're just gonna grind and fall apart. Like I said, 11 months, and I raced this thing against the best of the best motors out there, and I've only burned up one, and it was because a prop struck the ESC. You know, I, I go, there's, there's just hard to compete against a motor that costs $7. You know, to compete, these guys are competing in the seven to eight dollar range motors. If, it, if the motor is nine dollars or less, that's this guy's competition. Anything over ten, he doesn't care about those. You're buying better motors at that point. This guy's competition is the nine dollar and less category, and there aren't a lot of motors that fall under nine dollars. However, on this quadcopter, now that it's been eleven months, here's where I'm going to change my tune a little bit. This motor here and this motor up here get to the point when I'm flying that they get so hot that you can't even touch the motor. In fact, I did one time just to test it and I burned my thumb and I felt it for days. So what do you do when you got to replace motors and I feel like, and you feel like you're pushing the throttle and the, the maximum of what a quad can do? You buy new motors, of course you do. 
So here I'm going to put on these Racer Stars. These are the 2205, 2700 KV motors. Why these? Because these are 26 and you know, may as well go 27. You're getting a little bit bigger bell. It should have a little bit more power. Should be able to spin the same props just as well. Now these are 5040 props and I hate these props. They kind of make a bad humming sound while it sits on the ground, but as soon as, you, as soon as it gets in the air, it's fine. But anyway, next time the squad comes up, I'm going to be having these 2700 KV motors on it. And I'm also going to reverse the props. Today, these props spin into the middle like this. And so when you hit grass or anything, it kind of throws it up on the camera lens. If you reverse your props, it'll be throwing anything it hits out away from the camera lens, which will be beneficial for you if you're having a problem with grass or leaves getting stuck on your lens. Sometimes it gets stuck anyway, but at least it won't be because of the props throwing it on there. So, anyway, my point of making this video is to tell you these Racer Stars are good motors. If you can't push your quadcopter to full throttle, or you're building a new quad, there's no good reason that I know of not to try these Racer Star motors. That's what I think. Now, if you're pushing the motors, or you're already flying, and you're, you've already tasted the T motors, you're gonna think, these things are junk, these things are junk. Well, of course you do. It's like driving a Ferrari and then trying to be happy in some crappy little Datsun or something that's real old. You know, it ain't gonna happen. Once you've tasted the good stuff, you're not gonna like the old stuff. But if you, let, but if you haven't flown before, and you can't even push the throttle all the way, these motors are gonna be excellent for you. Anyway, if you wanna argue, that's great, because you better have some evidence and you better have some motors that cost $9. To try to compare these Racer Stars against anything more than $9 just isn't a fair comparison. Because they don't care about those guys. They're not competing against them. Anyway, leave any comments down below. If you have any questions, leave them down there too. And I will try to answer them as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.